Hello, Tom here. I just wanted to quickly show you how I treat uh, images when I put them into DaVinci Resolve. EXR images to be specific. When uh, we VFX artists, we often work with EXRs, which is a specific file format that um, is not set in any color space. It's a linear color lookup. So there is um, a very wide range of colors that are able to be stored in an EXR, but it um, it does not apply to any any specific color space. And so what I've chosen here, this is uh, this is Nuke, the interface, and I've chosen an image that is, is overexposed, and you can see that the monitor is not able to show the colors that are brighter than white or blacker than black. You know, the, the color range uh, that the monitor can show is between zero and one, zero being black and one being white. Now the image, the XR, can store values much higher than one and also negative values, so colors that are potentially even darker than black. But the monitor can't show that. If I underexpose my monitor here, I can show you how um, a lot of detail is actually stored in this image, but we cannot see that uh, if the, the image is normally exposed. Please note also down here, this blurred area, you know, the color of that. If I take that very same image into DaVinci Resolve, and we then compare, um, especially that sort of dirt area down here, if we compare that with what we have in Nuke, we can see how much um, darker the image appears in Resolve. All the detail in the trees is lost, and we just need to make sure that we can see um, this image in the correct way in Resolve. Okay, so let's go to Resolve and fix that. I've seen lots of people doing it by applying a LUT. And one way of doing that, there's a few different ways, but you can just go here to, to right-click to, on the image in your media pole, go to LUT, uh, FX, Input, Output, and go to, for example, Linear to sRGB. Where is it? There it is. And as soon as I apply that LUT, I'm getting an image that is very close to the way I want to see that image. But here's the issue. Remember that in, uh, in this image, there's a lot of color there that is brighter than white, which we need to maintain. We can see that here, that's there. It's not clipped off. However, in DaVinci, now that I've applied a LUT, if I go to my color tab and reduce the gain, I can see that all that detail is lost. The LUT has clipped it off. So this is a very destructive way of doing it. LUTs should only ever be applied at the very, very end of your color managing. Once you've done all the color corrections, you can maybe slap on a LUT at the very end, but never use LUTs um, if you plan to do more color correcting afterwards. So you can see all that detail is gone. I can go and uh, remove that LUT again. So if I go to LUT here and say no LUT selected, we're going back to the very dark image. But now if I, uh, if I gain that down, you can see that all that detail has returned. So do not use a LUT. This is the way I do it, I'll show you. Um, I'm not an expert. I really can't promise that this is the best way of doing it, but it works for me. And that is going into your uh, color tab here, or you can do it in Fusion, in the Fusion tab or in the color tab. It'll work in both. Both uh, Color is just a bit more straightforward. You go to your Open Your Open FX, scroll down until you find the color space transform and drag that on there. With the color space in there, you can now set your input gamma to linear, like so. Now, if you notice, if I gamma this down, we're still clipping. And that's because tone mapping is turned on. So after I've set my input gamma to linear, I also set the tone mapping method here to none. And now nothing is destroyed. So you ha now have an intact image. No clipping has happened. And if I compare that to what I um, am looking, seeing in Nuke here, I'm pretty much use the same color. So yeah, that's my uh, my advice. Stay away from LUTs and use the good old uh, color space transform. Thank you.